Should I get? They want to Quiet a minute. Is everybody here? There's a fourth grade. Okay. Eighth grade. Oh, okay. There you are. All right. Very good. Are we on? Oh, you didn't turn the switch on. <laughs> Something wrong. This afternoon, we're all gathered together to celebrate PTO's accomplishment for our school, and it's also an accomplishment for um, our kids, all of you, who have done such a good job on the fundraising project. And Mr. Bottom is part of the Ways and Means Committee on PTO, which is the group who's responsible for the fundraising, so he's going to be telling us a little bit more about the fundraiser itself. Thank you. Oh, that's all. I'm all prepared with notes today, so th this won't take long, hopefully. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. How are y'all doing this afternoon? I don't know about you all, but I'm real excited about what's going to happen this afternoon. <laughs> I can't tell if anybody else is excited out here, are they? Let me tell you a few things first. Uh, our school academically is one of the most sound in the state, and you're very fortunate students to have such support from our parents and our teachers. As a small part, way back in the corner somewhere, your school's parent-teacher organization puts together fundraisers each year that give the school some extras that make you excel in your academics. This fall, we started a unique fundraising program that was aggressive in, in its nature to gain $10,000. We together as students, teachers, and parents have reached that goal. That's why you're here today. It is commendable to think that with 80% participation 
of 300 students out here that you were able to have in a, as a goal of $10,000 and raise over $20,000 worth of sales. It's also commendable to our parents and to our teachers and to our community as a whole to when we thought that we were going to be short in our goal and that they came up with a few extra dollars in order for that goal to be reached. So it wasn't all you, it was a few other individuals that came through with a small amount of money. Before we get into the main event today, I kind of want to tell you about who won what as far as the rest of the fundraising drive, okay? The class with the highest sale per student, winner of $50, and the pizza parter was none other than Mrs. Dunnigan. <laughs> The class with the second highest sales, winner of the $25, and the ice cream and, boy, let me see, ice cream party, that's all you get, <laughs> is Mrs. Crowley. Okay. Now, as the third prize for the classes, there would be a Coke and popcorn party given to the classes that sold $900 total or more. Now, I'll go ahead and read these classes and get through these quick. Uh, Mrs. McCarty's Morning and Afternoon Kindergarten, Mrs. Rydell, Mrs. Hanhauser, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Ward's Third Grade, Mrs. Hauser, Mrs. Fitzgerald, Mrs. Ward's Sixth Grade, and Mrs. La Chapelle. Now, the individual winners included, we had 30 students receiving uh, school supplies, and I'm sure that you got your school supply today, at least we hope you did. Uh, we had 19 students receiving college logo t-shirts, five students received $10, and we had three students, which I'm gonna name because, you know, it's kind of special to go over $300 in sales, was Laura Yagel, Megan Bottom, and Newt Tyson. Now finally, the most important, I guess, out of today's activities is the student that sold the most. I, don't, I guess you all don't know who that is, do you? <laughs> okay, well the student that had the most sale and has the privilege of taking care of Father Dane today is none other than Newt Tyson, okay? <laughs> Well, what I want to say now is congratulations to each and every one of you. This is a tremendous goal that you all have reached. It's one that I wouldn't have ever envisioned you all be able to do because of the support, the drive, the excellence in academics we have here. I think that we pursued that and were able to obtain that most readily uh, because of you all. So you all need to give yourselves a hand. As a final note, the parent-teacher organization wishes to give Father Dane, the object of our, our uh, gathering today, a big thank you for participating in this activity. Now one thing I wanna do is you all take a good look because this is the last time you're going to see him like this for a while, okay? <laughs> now, the last thing I want to tell you is that we've, we've taken all precautions here today. Uh, along with Father Dane's safety, we've got us some EMTs here, yeah. and they're going to take care of any nicks and scratches. We've also taken care of the, uh, the training of Newt in order to give a proper haircut. We've got Father Dane's own special hair barber here, okay? And that's Mr. Don Mattingly, okay? So without further ado, because we are on a time schedule here to get you all out and back home, is we're gonna start. How's that sound?
Just so you know that he is cutting some. Stop.
for us. I think that we need to give a loud, a loud round of applause. Why don't 
If I start it up, maybe everybody will want to style just like this. Why don't you go in public and show in the army? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do for next year? I don't know what they've got planned for next year at all. <laughs> uh, I don't have a beard. <laughs> Not you. I might grow one though. That might be safer. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Run your hand over it. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> you think that you did a good job? Now, this will be the latest style. All the guys are going to have to have haircuts just like mine. Yeah. No. No. See you, Newt. You did a good job. Good on you. You know that this made you. This made you number one in the school. Bye. See ya. Bye. Ah. Look like sister. Fester. Oh, Fester. You want to run your hand in that and see if it feels all right? <laughs> you want to give me five? <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, they're a good sport. Thank you. <laughs> hey, they made the, they made the money. I you shouldn't. Have done this in the summer, though. <laughs> well, I kept expecting it was going to be a couple of months ago, you know, but um, it kept getting put off and put off and put off. <laughs> Do tell her that uh, I was thinking of her through this whole thing and that uh, I missed her today. Her comments would have been very welcome, I'm sure.